Hello everybody, it's Chad Buck, Mr. Judadan, all of you met 360. And today is the first day of the 11th month, the month that I call Joseph, after the 11th born of Jacob. And I blew the trumpet when the, when the sun went down. It is now the first of Joseph. And I promise to make a video every time I do this just to be faithful. Um, so that's every 30 days I make one of these. where, Because, yeah, that's right, there's only 30 days in a month. There's not 29, there's not 28, not ever. Unless you live under a fake pagan system, which we all do. <laughs> but we've come out, you know, um, Lies come from the enemy. The truth is from God. And um, the truth is His Word. His commandments, His feast days, and His laws are perfect and holy. What's the problem? I mean, it's like people just can't obey. <laughs> they think if they return back to the law, they've done some sin against Jesus. They don't understand that Jesus and the Word... Jesus is the Word. The finger that wrote those laws on that stone, His. Everyone calls them the Law of Moses. The nonsense. Nonsense. They are the laws of Almighty God. They are His precepts. They are His statutes. They are His feast days and Sabbaths and laws. They aren't belong to anybody else. They are his ways. You see? The Spirit of the Lord. Does he teach the ways of Baal? Or does he teach the ways that he always was? See, our king, he is who was and is to come. He not only was, but he is. And he is to come. You see? He was, is, and is to come. It's it's the Aleph, the Mame, and the Tav. He's the Word of God, and the Word of God always was true. It was true from the beginning. Hey, if, if the commandments and feast days of the Lord weren't true to begin with, why in the hell are we even dealing with this great God of Abraham? If his if the thing he gave to Moses wasn't the truth then why would we follow him into a, some new thing? Why would I make a new covenant with a God whose old covenant was no good to begin with? Why would I make a new covenant with a God who, who couldn't, whose laws were worthless to begin with? Good news is, is I don't believe that. I, don't, I believe that we are under a new covenant. A covenant that was cut by God through the blood of His Son. I believe that we are in a new covenant. A covenant to obey. We, we didn't enter into a, 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 a new covenant that just lets us all run around with the thumb up our butt. You know? We, we received the new covenant that teaches us the truth. And guess what, folks? The truth is what it always was. See, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Everybody wants to scrape, they all, we believe in Jesus, why they scrape the law into the bucket. And so then they run around, they do Christmas, they do Easter, they, they sway back and forth to a Michael W. Smith board, praising and with tears down their eyes, and they think that that is worship. Sorry, man. True worship is obedience to God. It's not what your heart says. See, a lot of people say, well, God knows my heart. Yeah, he does. He knows that it's sinful and wicked and without cure. Jesus is the word of God. The new covenant in his blood is a new covenant. There's one new law to love. It does not nullify none of the other laws. Those are God's laws and they're perfect and true. You know? And I don't understand what spirit you're of if you sit in judgment and condemnation of the law. I mean, what 
The law is perfect and true. So if you're if somebody mentions the law of God and you look like you just ate dog crap, what's that? What's that? You know, because God's word is true. The law is perfect and holy and just and right. And all the words of the Lord are flawless and to be fully obeyed. And the Spirit knows this. The Spirit of Jesus doesn't come into you and teach you some different new strange philosophy. If he did, it would break the law. If Jesus came and told us, and say he was a, 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 a prophet, say, and he did perform miraculous signs, and, and he did strange wonders, and he said, well, let's go serve the Easter Bunny. Uh, come on, let's go do Christmas. We would have to stone him to death. You know, he wouldn't be our Lord. We'd have to stone him to death. You know, but luckily Jesus didn't come and preach some new foreign religion. He preached the same, he, he kept and preached the same religion that he was born into. He keeps the commandments of his father. So, um, yes, and that's how I feel about it. And um, so we blow the trumpet because you can't even keep the feast days. If you're conformed to the pattern of this world, which the Bible tells you to not be, it is impossible to keep the laws and feast days and commandments of the Lord. You cannot do it while you're conformed to the pattern of this world. So you have to come out, you know. Um, so um, in order to blow the trumpet, on the first of the month. You have to know what time it is. And a time times and half a time is 1,260 days and it equals 42 months. That means it's a 360 day year. Do not add, do not subtract, do not lean to the left or to the right. So um, that's what I'm doing folks and it's a, lo it's a lonely business try to um, obey the Lord and keep his commandments and learn his precepts and laws and we're fought all the way fought by churches that want to rock disobedience and call that holiness we don't if you don't keep the commandments what are you talking about man I don't know you what God are you talking about some some dude named Jesus and Nampa comes out and says, what? No. Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, keeps the commandments. He doesn't break them. Okay. The Son of God obeys His Father. Okay. Gosh. It's so simple. Yeah. So, um... So we just wanted to be faithful and we put out this video to let you know uh, um, today is the first day of the 11th month. That's right. 60 days until New Year. And then Passover and all the rest. So um, hope you brothers and sisters are doing okay. I know the enemy is kicking butt all over the earth. And, and I just pray that you're safe and that your hearts are held fast by Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. I pray that you um, remember your first love. Your first love is the one that first loved you. And you know who first loved you? The Father. It is the Father who first loved you. And He gave His only begotten Son. So enough of the lawlessness. Enough of the preaching of lawlessness. And the law doesn't save you because the law never was about salvation. See, in Christ, Christ obeys. So there's no need for salvation. You know what I mean? When you're in the body of Christ, it's cool because the Christ obeys his Father. So he doesn't need saved from nothing. You know? Salvation is for lawless people. You know? And we've all been lawless. We've all broke the commandments. We've all done wrong. So the one that first loved us, the Father who created us by His Word, His Son, sent His Word 
and His Word was born through Virgin Mary. And then He lived a sinless life. It was sinless. What does that mean? That means He obeyed God flawlessly and kept all His commandments, feast days, and laws. He did not break the Sabbath. So, uh, that's where I'm at with it, and I hope you are too, because we've lived lives where we went to church and acted all like we was Jesus people, all while we're breaking all the commandments of God, not even knowing it, because they don't teach that you have to obey the commandments of God. So, some of us got pinched, and... Um, and when we get pinched, we, we read Deuteronomy, and Deuteronomy says that when you when all these curses of the law have fallen upon you, and you remember, and you you will remember, and when you remember, you will cry out with all your heart, and you will seek God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And you will return to Him and obey His commandments. And you will seek him in his word. And the blood of the lamb 